Ladies and ladies, my name is Jacksepticeye and welcome back to more surgeries. Today we're going to do scoliosis surgery and we're going to do a few more after it again because these are really, really short, so let's get in. Where's Susie? She's going to show up anytime. Every time I do a surgery, she seems to just show up. She's right there, always. There she is, that mass murdering maniac. See, these guys are doing surgery in the background, but Susie just shows up like, come on in. She's like the hidden killer that when you go back and watch the movie, she was in every scene and you never realized until now. Okay, let's operate. Let's get to work on... Okay, I didn't see the name. I'm gonna guess the name. What is her name? Annabelle. Meet Lisa. Fuck! <laughs> Meet Lisa. She's a patient with scoliosis. I actually don't know what scoliosis is. I know it's something maybe got to do with your spine or your bones. Um, this has led to poor posture and she is beginning to experience significant pain. We must operate immediately. We'll have to perform a spinal fusion. Ew. Uh, spine surgery. Great work, doctor. This is her belly, not her spine. Great work, doctor. Use the buttons so we can move the camera. Okay, got it. Oh, we're x-raying her. Up, up, up above your navel. Up, down. This is like one of those machines where you have to like get a teddy. Take x-ray. Cool. Gonna x-ray the shit out of you. Good job. This is an image of the spinal column and is definitely in a regular shape. Phew. I actually had to go to hospital to get spine spine x-rays before. Because apparently my spine was misshapen. I didn't have scoliosis and my x-rays came back fine. But I actually had to go to, to go to a hospital to get x-rays taken off my back before. I should have known that that's what she was doing. We need to move the patient to the operating room. It should be one of these three rooms. This one. I got this now! Good work, doctor. Now inject the intravenous anesthetic. Please select the syringe from the table. <laughs> this is the moment we all hate. This is where shit gets real. I select- Oh! Anesthetic bottle. Oh, okay. <laughs> I was wondering why there was no, like, marker for me to put it in. Right, here we go. Here we go. It's fine. It's fine. Just numb it up. Numb it all up. It's gonna be good. Oh, great work, doctor. Now I must four seconds for it to take effect. So how are you guys doing? You guys numb? I'm not numb. I kind of feel weird. I get very twitchy and movie aroundy. Um, okay, are those are shoulder blades? You're making her look like a crab or something. Now we must sterilize the patient's back. Please select the tongs. Uh, here we go. Wait, did I just see a medical wrench? The hell is a medical wrench? I'm gonna paint you like one of my French girls. Pick up the marker from the table. Got it. Draw a line down the back. This is gonna be weird. We're cutting into someone's back and we're gonna see their spine. Now you're ready to make the first incision. Please select the scalpel to begin. Got it. Got it. Oh, God. I don't see it. Can anybody help? Please? Hello? Oh, God. Now pick up the retractors from the table. I don't wanna see it. I don't wanna see it. I don't wanna see. Oh, that's lovely. Just like the ribs I get at the Chinese. Please select the drill to make six holes in the bone. Okay, uh, drill. I hate that sound. Have you ever go to the dentist and you hear the like, really high-pitched drill sound? It just, your teeth hurt when you hear it. Okay, let's go. I like the, the really badass music in the background though. Now pick up the rods from the table. Oh! Oh, her back is bending! Oh! Jeez Louise! Good work, now pick up the screws from the table. Ah. Uh, oh God. It's like putting together Ikea furniture. It's just like home improvisation all over again. Oh, are you okay? We must, we must use a screwdriver. Please remove it from the table. This is... Uh, whenever you think of surgery, you think of like fine, delicate maneuvers. Cutting people with scalpels, stitching nerves together. Not screwdrivers. It's like, nurse, pass me the Phillips head. No, that's a flat head. Give me the medical wrench, which we still haven't used yet. Pick up the clamps from the table. Give him the clamps. Got it. <laughs> what are you doing? Oh my God, did you just take out the, the fluid? Oh God, see, I knew what to put in without even reading it that time. The interbody fusion cage. Oh god, you took out one of the, like, discs. Move the clamps from the disc. Got it. Is that good? Oh, because it'll cushion it more. Because the other stuff is molded to the shape of the old spine. Nice, we need to adjust the rods. Please select the medical wrench. Clang, clang, clang! 
you're not doing anything. Oh god. It's just like, um, getting like a retainer for your teeth. I don't like it. I don't like it. Oh god. And it doesn't help that I'm like paranoid about like pains in my ribs right now. Oh. Hey, let's stitch you back up. Wasn't so bad, Lisa. You're fine. You're gonna be hopping around in no time. You're gonna have that wedding dance after all. Perfect! It's like there was nothing wrong with you to begin with. Nice! Neck surgery! Bring in the patient! Let's get some arms going. They're all pretty much the same anyway. Quick! We got a patient in the ER! I got it. Oh no! Here she is. I've looked her over and her vital signs and responses are all normal. Actually, Susie is not a murderer. She's not a psychopath. You know what she is? She's a ghost! A ghost of doctor's past. Nurse's past. She's not a doctor. Or, or maybe she is. She is. I have a bump on her arm and I'm going to give her an x-ray. Wait here and we bring her back. What's wrong? I, she didn't give me a name. I'm going to call her... Um... Uh, not a normal name. Rachel. There we go. Rachel. No, no. I tripped my... I tripped on my way back and all these patient files got mixed up. Susie, you dumbass! Because she's a ghost! So they go through her hands, she can't even grab physical objects. Pick out the right x-ray so we can treat the patient's stat. Well, this is the only one that's an actual arm, so... Like, I'm not that stupid. How do we treat her, Doc? Maybe this manual will help figure out the type of fracture we're dealing with. What?! Okay. I just... I, okay, I didn't, I didn't understand that. I didn't read it properly. Drag the right side fixation. How am I supposed to know? I, what? There we go. They all seem to fit. It's just a guessing game now. Oh God, we're gonna murder her underneath this tarp. That sleeve has got to go before you can operate. Just get her to take off her hoodie. You don't need to saw through shit. My damn doctors. They just don't understand fashion. Always oh, cutting through our clothes. Here we go. Snip, 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 snip. Snippity snip. Snip, snip, snip. Edward Scissor's hands up in this. Use a tourniquet. Got it. Uh, tourniquet. Okay. There we go. Oh god, what am I injecting you with? I know, a tourniquet doesn't inject stuff. Technically, I'm injecting air around her arm. Shut up. Uh, <laughs> Sign to sterilize the area so the patient doesn't get an infection. Because you don't want to get septic. There's only one person who can be septic around here. And that's not really a good thing. It doesn't sound very nice. Uh, pick up the cotton ball. Wait, what? Use the tongs to pick up the cotton ball. I should be used to this by now. It's the same thing every time. There we go. Now your hand is all covered. You got a nice tan. Welcome to Jack's Tanning Salon. It's not an ER at all. What do I have a feeling like someone's watching me? I keep feeling like air on the back of my neck. It's Susie the ghost! Okay, um, uh-oh, the patient's vital signs have suddenly dropped. Keep an eye on her heart rate, Doc. We let it drop before 14 beats per minute. I won't. We need to hurry. Done in five minutes. I'm always done really fast. That's not good. Grab the scalpel and make an incision. Oh! Oh, sweet lord above! Drag it! Oh fuck! Oh no! Oh! Uh, I'm gonna guess. The bovi! Yes! There we go! It's... Oh god, I burnt her arm! You want a tattoo? Like, merged into your arm? I can do that! There's not much room! Use the clamps! Give him the clamps! Here you go, Susie! Not Susie! Um, Rachel! Can't remember what name I gave to you! What happened to your arm?! The bluish tube is her nerves. Be careful not to damage it, as the patient could lose all feeling in her arm. Grab some sterile strings. Got it. Got it. Ew. Ew. Pull him back. Oh, I'd imagine that hurts like absolute fuck if you're awake for it. Wow, look at all those bone fragments. Let's remove them right away. Uh, use the tongs. Here we go. Oh, they look like little stones. What happened to you? Did you get messed up? Did you, were you in an accident? Okay, click this. I don't know what I'm clicking. Oh, jeez. Oh, jeez. Wow, your arm got absolutely fucked up. Oh my god. Oh, jeez. You know what? Surgery and doctors are not too far from mechanics. They're human mechanics. 
Doctors are human mechanics! Jacksepticeye 2015! <laughs> Here we go! All the way in! I'd hate to have a plate in my arm! You're like, having that feeling that something's inside you, and like you're not completely human anymore. I mean, you would feel like Terminator, which would be cool. I mean, you could cut your arm open and see the plate inside it. It'd still bleed to death, but it'd look cool. You could, you could just show people. Now grab the screwdriver. It's not a screwdriver, it's an electric screwdriver. Well, I guess, same thing. Never mind. Here we go. Good as new. <laughs> Nice! Time to close up the wound! I'm gonna stitch you up nice! Bitches get stitches! Oh, I didn't need to pick the thread this time. Nice! Double stitch! Just like my mother used to do to my pants! Like, I want a picture of me, like, at the end, like, popping up just... Like, good surgeon! Master surgeon! Best surgeon! Well done, Rachel! You are perfect! Look at those shimmering... Blue ocean eyes. Have you been eating a load of sweets again? Did you devour a whole tub of bleach? Do you have stones inside your belly? It's okay. It's time for belly surgery. Stomach surgery. We're gonna remove all that shit. You tried to eat nails because you thought they'd give you extra strength or extra calcium? Kevin! Buddy! His curiosity has gotten him into some trouble. He seems to have swallowed something dangerous to his health. Oh! This is the thing. Like, you go into hospital and you're like, I have a pain in my ass. Could you check it out? And then they remove, like... Uh, a toy car and a condom, like in Jackass or something. Let's see what stupid thing Kevin swallowed. Let's see how much of a dumbass he is. Okay, here we go. Nice nipples! You have a great body for a, such a young boy. That's- that'll get me in trouble. That's a fucking quote that I don't want to come back to haunt me. Did you swallow keys? Are you that stupid? To be sure proper breathing, we must intubate the patient. Oh god, this is the thing that would always make me gag. Um... I keep looking at these to see what I can use first without having to read because I want to see if I can get them right even though I always pick the wrong things. Grab the intubation tube from the table. Oh god. At least he's asleep for it. Oh, if I, uh, some people have to get that done when they're awake. My father had to go like to the hospital to get like a, a scope down his neck before. Like lots of people have to get them done, like routine check. And I just sitting here going, ah that's disgusting. Oh god no. Anything in my mouth I just go. Ugh. <laughs> Even brushing my teeth gives me like that gag feeling sometimes. Okay, great. We need to get the intubation tube to the lung pump. First, pick up the air tube attached to the lung pump. Uh, air tube. Got it! You could go scuba diving. You'd be fine. Well done. Now turn on the lung pump. Turn up for what? Before we start the operation, we need to sterilize the patient's belly. Ah, it's so cute. Now I know what to do. Tongs, cotton balls. Yeah. Always the same. Oh, never mind. I don't know what to do. Give him a nice tan. There! Now you look like you were down in Mexico for the week. Let's start by making an incision in the patient's belly. First pick up the marker from the table. I got- Ooh! We got a nice marker this time. A nice yellow one. We're not using, um, Sharpies anymore. Next, pick up the scalpel. Got it. Let's cut this some bitch open. Like a fish. Got you like a fish, boy. Next. Nice cut, doctor. I thought I said next cut. Okay, now we need the bovi. Is it? A few veins have started to bleed. Uh, where's the bovi? Yeah! I'm learning medical terms from silly cartoon games. I think I'm gonna be a doctor! Ah! Ah! Get this college! It's doctor time! Before we continue, we need to move the skin and the flesh out of the way. Give him the clams! Yes, you did hear that three times in one video. Who cares? It's funny, it's hilarious. Laugh along with it. Good lord! That's a whole lot of belly. Uh, clams from the table. Are we moving more shit? Oh, God. It's always weird, because you can move around like body parts inside you. You could even take them out and wiggle them around in front of you. There's videos online of people who have had their stomachs cut open and holding their intestines walking around, like injured. Don't, don't search those videos. Uh, now we make an incision in the patient's stomach. Get the scalpel. Got it. Oh, oh. What does that stink when you cut open the belly? Even like a fresh belly. Now we'd insert a camera. Ooh! Where's the camera? Here we go! Hey mom, on TV! <laughs> Excellent! Now we can see what's going on inside. You like, you look in and there's like a bunch of aliens inside. There's the keys. Why did you eat them? Why? Why are you such a dumbass? There we go. That was easy. That was fine! We got the bellies out. Nice! Get the needle from the table. 
Oh, it'd be weird to have your stomach sewn up. Did I not put staples in it? You always hear like stomach staples? Well, that's from like a uh, like the dietary gastric band surgery, I think. Get rid of all the clamps. It's like a fucking alien scene in here. It's like an alien autopsy. Is this Roswell? Looks like it. Now we need to stitch him back up. Yeah, I don't even need to see what Susie's saying anymore because I know what to do. I'm a master surgeon. Master surgeon. Come over to my house. You have something wrong with you? Come over. Jack can fix you right up. Uh, and I can turn the pump off. Take out your tubes. You don't need to breathe anymore. You don't got a chest buster inside you. Are you good? Yeah. Well done, Kevin. You are safe for another day. Now don't go home and swallow keys again. You're just, you might as well have swallowed a big load of dicks. Are you guys impressed? With all my master surgeon skills? Of course you are. You love seeing Jack in action. I know a lot of you were here behind me wishing that you were like tapping the sweat off my forehead. Like, you got this doctor and I'm cutting into him like and I was like doing a knife and fork action. <laughs> but these games are fun. They're silly. I like them. I enjoy playing them. They've become like their own like little thing on the channel now at this stage. Like with Susie and all the characters and everything. Um, they're really weird to commentate over. I almost don't know what to say half the time. You're just reading stuff on screen, freaking out to all the stuff that's happening. And I'm kind of desensitized to them by now. Like, cutting open stomachs doesn't freak me out like it did when I was doing the eye surgery. Actually, eye surgery is a bit weirder. Because, like, you can't... Like, you can feel your eyes right here and now. Like, you can almost touch them, but you can't, like... Your stomach's, like, in there. You're not conscious of it. It's just, like, sitting there inside you, so you're a bit, um, unbeknownst to it. But anyway, thank you guys so much for watching this video. If you liked it, punch the like button in the face! Like a boss! And I bounce around! Whoosh, whoosh. But thank you guys, and I will see all you dudes! Next ah! Get first! Get all the way out, all the way out, one direction, good, great, beauty pipe! What? That's the one, Steve! With the sniffles! Here we go! There we are! Now we are playing! Look at me like that, Kevin. I know what you're thinking. It wasn't me who ate all the cake. Maybe it was.